Welcome back to my sewing room. So I'm sure you are aware, everyone's aware, that the Barbie movie is premiering on Friday. Today is Monday. It is Monday, 8.39 p.m. Just got everybody settled in and I am going to start matching mommy and me dresses for the premiere that we're going to on Friday. So, there is deadlines in place and I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna try and get through it. At least majors. So the pattern I'm using for majors dress is a Butterick retro reprint from 1961 and it's Butterick B6315. And then the pattern I am using for my dress is a vintage reproduction, one of McCall's new ones from the 1950s. And I think these two patterns will complement each other so for fabrics i dug through my stash i keep saying that i am not buying anything if i can find something in my stash to use i have this authentic vintage trim that i got when i went to um tuberville to go vintage fabric shopping with Haley from Haley marie vintage and stephanie from stephanie canada's channel so i have this i want to try and use i had a few pinks I had some pink cotton and then a little bit of pink satin, I guess it is, left over from a recent make. And then I have two cuts of this pink and blue and yellow sort of deal. Major doesn't really like pink. She likes blue. So this was a compromise and I found it in my stash. I have, I think there's three yards in this cut and then two yards in this cut, but they're only... 44 inches wide so I don't know if we have enough I don't know what's gonna happen with this make but I know I have just a little bit of time to get it done so we're gonna get started so mommy and me dresses for the Barbie premiere that is on Friday today is Monday night so I have Major's pattern already out and so we're gonna get started on getting her dress cut out I think I'm gonna try to make the majority of her dress in pink and then use the this for the midriff part and then do the opposite on my dress to try and make the fabric situation work because I know there's not enough. So we're gonna try to make it work. I have some light blue piping I'm gonna try to incorporate. We'll see, these are things that I found in my stash. The pattern, the one for Major I've had for a while. The McCall's one is one of their new ones that just came out, so I just got this. So we'll see what happens, but we're gonna get started and hope to have two dresses completed by Friday. If not two, then at least one for Major. So that's what we're doing today. As always, thank you for being here. If you would like to support my channel, the link for my Kofi is in the description. And if you would like to support in another way, then please leave me a comment or give this video a share or a thumbs up. And with all of that said, let's get into the sewing because we are very short on time. I went into this project the same way I do every other project. Um, confused, but excited and hopeful and overestimating my own capabilities and time management skills. But I really want it to do this for my daughter. I have and had been working so much lately and the mom guilt was kicking in and I thought the best thing I could do was to not only take her to see the Barbie movie but to make the dress and to make myself one to match like that would somehow atone for the hours away, the trips away, the nights away the things that I've missed, the FaceTime goodnights. We all, all of us mothers, we do all of the things with all of the best intentions. So that's how I started this project. The same as every other one, with all of the best intentions. And so I got to work Cutting out her dress first. Hers is the most important. Cutting out the bodice pieces and getting the pretty rainbow fabric she chose for the accent pieces. So that's what I'm doing here. So 
So Tuesday, 8.48 p.m. Yesterday, I was able to get the skirts cut out and I got the bodices of both of our dresses cut out of mock-up fabric. So today, I'm just going to try to get the skirts stitched together and then tomorrow, we'll deal with bodice mock-ups. So I'm only, I'm going to set the timer for an hour and see what I can get done. We got all of the things happening everywhere, um, but that is the plan. So we're going to start with major skirt. That's what's laid out here. And it is like two back pieces or back side pieces and then like one front piece that's cut on the fold, like simple gathered skirts. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then my skirt is over here or no, over here somewhere. It's a gathered skirt as well. So it shouldn't be a problem. So that is the plan. Okay, so with major skirt, the first step is on piece number 10. It's this, this facing part that we have to fold back. So inch on outer edge of skirt back, which is piece number 10 self-facing as shown stitch close to the edge so this is the fold line so over the past couple of years that i've been sewing my sewing skills have gotten a lot better i like to think but i am now working outside of the home sewing when you are mentally and physically exhausted is not the easiest thing. Sometimes I literally cannot decipher left from right or right side of fabric from wrong side of fabric. I'm just so very, very tired when I do finally get a chance to sew. I'm not used to starting projects at 9 p.m., but that's life right now. And so I aspire to make the time. So we're back. It's day three, Wednesday, 4.54 p.m. I just finished working. Well, I'm not even finished. I have a meeting at 6.30 due to like time zone situations. So I have literally from five to six to sew. Did not get anything done last night. I was so tired, like I wasn't even going to attempt to mess things up. So the goal is in this hour to get the skirts done, or at least as much as we can. So last night, what I did do on major skirt was fold that edge back one fourth of an inch and stitch it. And then I seamed up the center back to the marking. And so now what they want you to do is fold this edge to the right side on the outside and stitch it across the top and the bottom so that's what i'm going to do now on her skirt back and then i think we just attach piece 11 which is the skirt front to that and it's like together so we're going to do that now and then we will start on my skirt situation so we have one hour i might even be able to push it to 6 15 That'll give me long enough to like throw in some concealer and stuff before the Zoom. Um, that's at 6.30. So let's just get started. I don't know if I'm going to get this done or not. I really don't. I've been working like so much this week. There's so much going on at work. And I don't know. But we'll see. We're going to try. We're going to get the skirts done today. And tonight, if I'm not too tired after I get the kids to bed, I will do the bodice mock-ups for me and Major off camera. And then we can come back tomorrow and do the real bodices. That's the plan. Don't know how it's going to work out, but let's I'm just stop talking and start sewing. So, okay, I got that together. It was a little bit of a thing. So you fold the bottom to the inside and the top to the outside or no. Let me check. You turn it to the outside and stitch the bottom. And it makes this little like facing. I can't get that neat enough. I'm going to have to iron it. Um, that's what I was struggling with trying to get this neat. Um, and then that makes 
the facing basically not basically it is and this line is centered back so I'm imagining that before it's all done this will sit right over top of that like that and that is the center back of the skirt so this fabric frays very badly so I'm going to get the front attached making sure got the fabric right and then I'm gonna pink it um, before we start to lose things so this is here right size so there you go okay so we're gonna head to the sewing machine get these side stitch up and gather down the top. When I got rolling with this sewing pattern with the little pieces of time that I would have, it is a very easy pattern to sew up for a little girl. Simple gathered skirt. The most complicated is the cummerbund. We'll get into that, but I do love this pattern. Just wanted to say that. So now we have major skirt seam together. I pink the seams, press the seams, I put in two rows of gathering stitches at the top, and this is where we're gonna leave it and start working on my skirt. My skirt is pretty simple. It's four pieces, two for the front and two for the back. So I'm starting with piece number eight, and I'm going to stitch it together at center front. So it's already right sides together. I'm just going to put in a couple of pins at the same time. Um, the left side gets the zipper. So for a 14 inch zipper, you can go to the notch. For a 12 inch zipper, you can go to the dot. I think I'm going to go with a 14 inch zipper just because this is a size 16. I'm not sure if it's going to be bigger or not. I am going to mock up the blouse. But the first thing we're going to do is seam center front and center back of the skirt pieces. There is center front and here is center back. And we're going to do that. I was sewing these skirts together at the almost end of a very long day. And as I was doing it and my TV's playing in the background, some season or city of housewives or another, I realized just how much, and I know I've said this in videos before, but this sewing is the thing that I do for me and I often do not sew anything for anyone else but it's the thing that I do for me that makes me feel good and I'm definitely gonna have to make time to do more of it. So now I have my front and my backs seamed together, pinked and pressed. It is 6.07. I'm gonna run and freshen up before my meeting that I have about 20 minutes till it begins. So I'm gonna do that, put the sewing machine away for a while and I'll check back here with you guys, hopefully tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow evening. If you can tell by the wardrobe change, I did not get back to it Wednesday evening after my meeting. I found other ways to atone for the mom guilt. I had dinner with my family that is that was prepared by my wonderful husband who was doing 90% of the cooking these days. Um, and it is now Thursday as I am working on this. Thursday after work, I think I stopped tracking my time or prove, proving my time on my phone at this point. I was so nervous about not getting finished. I will say one of the really cool perks about my job that I do absolutely 100% love. I absolutely love my job. That's the only reason why I continue to do it when it is so hectic and I am so busy, but I love my job. But we also have a thing called Summer Fridays where on Fridays we finish at three. And so I'm hoping whatever I don't finish up Thursday evening, I'm able to finish up Friday before we go to the movie. I'm wishing at this point that I had of chose Saturday 
for our viewing, but my mother, I hope you are watching, told me that it was very important to go on opening day when I could have went on Saturday or Sunday and bought myself a couple extra days and maybe added a few years on to my life. But I listened to my mom, which is a new thing for me. Hey, Drew. I'm doing some editing. I'm going to give you a call right back. Okay, I'll be waiting. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Look who we talked up. <laughs> But back to what I was saying, no more so, back to what I'm doing here right now. The This is the cummerbund situation, which was a little tricky, but came out so beautifully. Um, once I figured out what went weird and how to make the folds correctly, got them ironed down and then basted in place, they are such a beautiful touch to the dress. I cannot wait for you to see the final thing. You see a dress starting to take shape. I got those pleats pressed down and basted and now I'm pinning it to the bodice front um, before I get it basted down. Here is the bodice back. It has been interfaced where the buttons are gonna go, the facing situation. This really isn't a complicated dress and I'm not even sure how long I spent on it if I were to add up the amount of time spent on this dress it probably was not more than four hours total if that it really is a simple dress it's a butterick I'll put the numbers again in the description oh look at me here oh I look tired <laughs> like am I even awake I just don't like deadlines and I see like I work in a profession where I have deadlines as an event planner and then I always give myself deadlines knowing that they just really don't agree with me but mm, maybe I like the pressure some people work better under pressure I suppose mm, haven't discovered yet if I'm one of them I think I'll let you be the judge let me know what you think Look at me doing collars. For those who have been here for a while know how much I had a disdain for collars. How I would avoid patterns that I loved just because of collars. Like, And now look at me doing collars with bias binding and all of the things that used to terrify me. Um, look at me doing all the things. Look at me working and the mom is momming and the wife is wifing and the life is lifing and the sewing is sewing. Like I tell my kids every day, we can do hard things. We can and we will and we'll do them again and again and we won't always get it all right. We won't always succeed 100% as you will soon see because I've been showing a lot of footage of Major's dress but what about mine? Have you heard it mentioned? We did seam together a skirt and then it kind of lagged off. So I have Major's dress just about finished. I have gathered down the skirt pinned it and after this I think I just need to hem it do the buttons and then I'm gonna hand stitch down this facing um, probably do that tonight in bed and the buttons and maybe even the hem by hand in bed I just want to lay down so bad I'm so tired so um, yeah I'm gonna get this all stitched on and then we can resume my dress Mommy. you like these no, I like these better. You like those better? Yeah. Okay, we'll use those. So are these the ones you, you chose, Major? Yeah. I have some true vintage ones you could use. No. No. Are you sure you don't want the flowers? No. No, you want these? Yes. Alrighty. 
So Major's dress is looking really good. I just need to hand it tomorrow. That is it. It's finished. It's already got the button she picked out some on. The buttonholes came out a mess. I ended up having to fix those by hand. I will show you that later. So I'm going to cut my bodice pieces out, the contrasting pieces out of the pink that is on Major's dress and realize I don't have enough of either fabric for the sleeves. And I really don't have enough time. So what I'm gonna do is turn this into just a skirt and I'll wear a blouse or something that I already have. As long as Major has her dress, I have my skirt. It's gonna be just fine. Um, yeah, and I'll be able to add a waistband and him and all that in an hour or two. So, yep, we'll try this pattern again later. Um, I really do like it. It sucks that I don't have enough fabric. So, hi, Mage. So, we'll try it again some other time. Hi, Major. You ready to go bye bye? All right, let's do it. So I did get Major's dress done. My dress got turned into a skirt. We went and seen Barbie. We had a beautiful time. All is well that ends well. And I am actually currently working on the McCall's pattern for myself. And I have proof I'm going to show you. So stay to the end. Oh, you look so pretty. Turn around. Let me see. Oh, you look gorgeous. Let me see your nails. You got your nails done? Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Yeah? All right. So, I did do a mock-up. It fits pretty well. So, what I'm going to do is... The skirt is going to be out of this and the bodice up here and the sleeves I'm going to do out of the print just like they did and then the solid where they did and then we're going to cover some buttons to go there. So I have been working on the McCall's M8401. There will be a full tutorial coming up on it very soon it is it is almost completed and things are slowing down a bit for me to have time to actually put out content there's lots of things i want to share with you if you want to learn more about the als association i work for check it out in the description um, as usual i appreciate you all for being here if it's your first time here go ahead and hit the subscribe button and check out the playlist of my favorite videos a huge thank you to elaine by who joined the so so drew Walk to Defeat ALS team and made a contribution. Thank you so much. The cause is definitely a worthy one. If you would like to join, the link is in the description. Also, a huge thank you to my Kofi supporters who continue to support me. Even when I'm not putting out content, you will be thanked properly in the next video, which is sure to be a good one. I'm very excited for it. I hope you guys stick around and bear with me through this season of my life. And I will see you in the next video that is soon and sure to come.